Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it still bull market trend, what's going on with the stock market world in a daily time frame. And as usually, let's move to my five rules of risk management. Please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for trading view. Let's switch to stock market heat map based on all USA companies, market cap and daily performance. It looks like it's a mixed mode, right? It's a lot of red, green. Uh, technology is still yeah, mega. Uh, Nvidia, Apple, Microsoft, Google, Meta. Yeah, mega uh, six still kind of positive. Still positive, right? But the rest of the market, finance, not happy. Not happy. Okay, let's do technical analysis review and we will figure out what's going on. My name is Vadik. Let's move to my watch list. And if you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages white line SMA 200. Purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10, and green line SMA 5. Below yellow line, RSI line. That's all. That's all. Very simple. It's not easy because emotions are involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful. Like, let's start from DXY. Like on DXY, on this chart, you see green circle. When the SMA5 green line did bullish crossover over red line, it was bullish entry, right? What we are observing now, today, bearish reversal, right? Bearish reversal. Huge bearish reversal. Red circle, SMA5 did bearish crossover. And last bar stopped at SMA20. It is bearish reversal trend and it's positive and bullish for equities and indexes now let's move to to nasdaq nasdaq daily time frame bullish right price did all time new high again bullish trend and bearish divergence on other side divergence is not a signal it's a condition on the market. Price action is bullish. Condition is bearish. It means it, it anytime it can do reversal. Bullish trend and four hours time frame. It was daily. Four hours time frame, same story. Bullish trend, bearish divergence. Nasdaq today was almost 1%. And it was 1%. It came back. It, yeah. Okay. Still bullish trend, but remember RSI in very overbought territory. RSI in very overbought territory definitely uh, can, it's on one hour time frame only. It can get reversal, at least on one hour time frame. VXN volatility index for NASDAQ daily time frame, it is still bearish, right? Still at, at SMA 20 level. Still bearish trend. No fear, still extreme greed. SP 500 plus half percent daily time frame, same story. Same, less, less powerful, but same story. You see price action bullish, right? Mm -hmm. Last bar about all moving averages. And RSI has bearish divergence also. But trend is bullish. Trend is bullish. on daily time frame let's move to let's move to four hours time frame four hours time frame four hours time frame same last bar about all moving averages bullish trend and rsi has been mm -hmm. divergence and one hour time frame similar bullish trend and bearish divergence and bearish divergence no no uh, let's see uh, 
some bearish divergences from this point you see it's, it's kind of flat i would say it's flat when it's flat but the price action is bull right and it's divergence uh, bullish trend and weeks weeks daily time frame also lost bar at the lowest level since 1995 usually from this level it usually did always bounce very very oversold daily uh okay now let's move to dow jones dia daily time frame red bar today but still last bar above all moving averages still bullish trend four hours time frame still last bar above all moving averages bullish trend and and one hour time frame it did reversal for last four hours but it's still above sma 10 and 20 still in the bullish territory still dow jones also still positive bullish iwm russell 2000 one hour time frame it did bullish crossover today and it was kind of moved above sma 200 and it came back was some correction but last bar still above sma 20 still in the bullish territory four hours time frame same as sma 5 and 10 and and bars above sma 20 bullish territory but sma 5 did bearish crossover over 10 and it created last bearish reversal hammer bar still in the bullish territory maybe friday it will do reversal tomorrow thursday it's a holiday of day happy independence day happy fourth of july and uh, friday it will we will be back in business uh, on daily time frame russell 2000 same story still last bar above sma 20 bullish territory but it created bearish reversal hammer bar apple apple daily bullish trend no changes right and bearish divergence on rsi look at it price action bullish rsi bearish four hours time frame same story price action is bullish rsi is bearish and one hour time frame also bullish still bullish trend no divergence tesla one hour time frame huge look at it made third leg i was thinking this is one leg one second third we did four legs already very powerful move from yeah from 185 to 247 or or last kind of uh since uh since june 25 the last eight days powerful move and are assigned the overbought territory it can do reversal four hours time frame powerful bull run also are assigned the overbought territory it definitely wants to have correction because it's very disconnected from all moving averages daily time frame same story huge disconnection bullish trend are assigned overbought territory usually it, it, it can do reversal from this level nvidia plus four and a half percent tesla was plus six and a half nvidia four and a half right daily time frame it bounced from the bearish territory sma 5 10 and bars below sma 20 it is bearish territory nice bounce i believe it it could be a bull trap this one is could be a bull trap bullish reversal on daily four hours time frame same story it was dancing around sma 50 blue line and it did bounce from sma 50 bullish reversal on our assigned Fibonacci also uh, 
Okay. Last bar about on one hour time frame and video also did bounce bullish crossover bullish reversal signal. Video reverse to bullish from bearish. Microsoft. Microsoft one hour time frame last bar about all moving averages bullish trend. Four hours time frame. Last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend and bearish divergence. Look at RSI as bearish divergence. Price action is uptrend bullish. And daily, right? Daily for Microsoft, same bullish trend, bearish divergence, but still powerful bullish. Amazon. Amazon daily, same bullish trend. Bearish divergence on RSI, but trend is bullish. For hours time frame, still last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend with bearish divergence on RSI. One hour time frame, it did reversal sell signal. SMA5 did bearish crossover over 10. It's a bearish signal. And it stopped, last bar stopped at SMA20. Google, Google one hour time frame, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend, same. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, we see price action is bullish and RSI has bearish, bearish divergence. Bullish trend with bearish divergences. Four hours time frame, same story, price action is bullish and bearish divergence on RSI. And daily, last bar above all moving averages, bearish divergence on RSI. Meta. Meta. <coughs> Meta daily time frame, it bounced from SMA 20, still in a bullish territory. It was sideways for several days, but still above SMA 20 bullish territory. Four hours time frame. SMA 5 did bearish crossover over 10, but last two bars, three bars, they bounce from SMA 20. Still above SMA 20, still in a positive territory. And one hour time frame, bullish crossover. Last several bars about all moving averages. It is bullish territory, bullish trend. That's all. Let's do summary. USA dollar just started reversal. It is negative. It is bearish, and it's a bullish for equity. All equities and indexes they all still bullish. They all still bullish on all time frames. It's another leg, it's another bounce, and all of them they have bearish divergences on other side. All of them they have bearish divergence on other side. Like this one, right? That's all, yeah. That's all so far. Well, let's move to my disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes. All of this. Let me show my disclaimer, sorry. Let's move to my disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Remember, for educational purpose, we are using paper trading simulator. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.